without a second light. And can Bat Boom burst him through it? This is a different beast than that Huskar from earlier. TPing back now. Aegis about to expire. But he got hacked. The jump. The rupture goes off and immediately oh. the hex onto pure. Ace. He can't get it off. He didn't activate his BKB. Avery, the he golden farmed. doom. For what? He didn't use his gold, Avery. And he doesn't even have buyback. None oh, of them have buyback. No. All it took was a single hex from Ace, who has time and time again delivered for gaming. And he shuts all that net worth down. That is the face of a man who looked into the spider and the spider looked back. Ace wants it all. You only have support buybacks here. GPK, it is back up to you. And look at Duraggio immediately just straight for the throat. Tries to pick off any support he can. He wants to be able to make sure this, this frost shield doesn't stop him any longer. I don't think you can stop this. They can't stop it. GPK is going to try, though. He's got to take Shield out the support. Shield on a two. Meanwhile, Quinn's going to take out the support. Immediately, the Lich is gone. GPK left. He pushed this game so late, but he can't stop it all on his own. And GG is called Gaming Gladiators Dream League Season 20. They are your back-to-back -back champion. I mean, back-to-back-to-back-to-back-to-back champions at this point. Nobody can stop this team. I don't understand it. I don't know if they understand it. It has been a almost full sweep of the year. There's only one major tournament left. This team has not won. I mean, the rings are just rolling in at this point. And it's been for some plethora of opponents, a lot of different styles. Bet Boom looked like the most dominant team here. Gaming weren't even at 100% this tournament. That's what they said in interviews. They're yeah. like, we're just kind of taking a chill, see what happens. Well, I guess they saw what happens and it's another victory. And this time around, they came in through the lower bracket as well. This time around, they were actually down in the series for the first time. Yes, eight in games any of in their a row. Grand finals. Eight games in a row, they were down in both series of the day, and they still pulled back both. And I have to say that most impressive thing about this team, when I look at the play, is that a lot of people talk about the individual players, but it's always somebody different stepping up. And I think that's what makes a championship team a championship team, right? It's not about you relying on one player to win you every game, every series. Yeah. When you need someone to have a, a good game because the other's having a bad one, it almost always comes through. In that game one, it's the Rachio clutching it up on the Bloodseeker. Yeah. In, in like the games two and three, it's Quinn trying to hold it together while the rest of them get their shit going. And in this game five, it's Ace on this Broodmother with a super clutch Hex. If you don't land that Hex, that might be a Doom Medusa, and all of a sudden that game starts to turn. This game just always has someone step up. The supports really making a name for himself in this scene. Probably just the strongest support duo right now by far. Oh, absolutely. The number of, of times where Tofu has managed to get them off to a blazing start in the laning phase and yep, keep yep. that going with the momentum of his, his roaming, the time said Celery, I mean, Enchantress, Enchantress. Like, you just cannot give this hero to this team because of this guy. And he played I mean, Undying seven times in a row. So. <laughs> I mean, they, you got to give him for that, absolutely. Gaming Gladiators, an incredible performance after so many incredible Grand Finals performances. An absolutely amazing year and another fantastic tournament by your champions, Gaming Gladiators. I don't know how they do it, but they do it again for the fourth Grand Finals in a row, Gaming Gladiators. They take it this series, went all the way to the fifth game. And you know what? After the draft, we were very convinced <laughs> they were going to take it. But then Bed Boom made a case for themselves, you know? And then it still ends with... Well, I don't know if we, could, we should talk about that fight. Let's focus on the rest of the game first, because that fight was a little bit of a, a yikes. And Gaming Gladiators, uh, they did play very well this game. I am joined by Sheep, by Purge, by Kezu, by Jenkins. And Kezu, uh, Gaming Gladiators winning here again. Yeah. I mean, that's, <laughs> isn't I don't know how. that unheard of? Yeah, I don't know yeah. how the hell these nerds do it, but I guess they're, I don't, they just always come back. They adapt so well with how they play in this game. I have so many questions, like if I were them, I would have shat my pants like 28 times in this game because I feel like I've, I'm about to lose this game. But they just keep their cool, they just play. Apparently they know everything and every timing of what to do. They even Bad Boom, I feel like they played so well, like being able to hold on to this game, make it competitive or even... They could have won this game. Like, yeah. I, I, yeah, I don't know. I'm a little bit speechless. These two teams are pretty sick. That's just some of the best Dota I've seen in a long time from both these teams. I feel like Bad Boom is supposed to lose this game like 10 minutes in the past. Yeah. That crazy fight top where they ended yeah. up catching Quinn and killing him when he only had cheese. So they, they kept finding opportunities for themselves. But uh, yeah, Gaming Gladiators clinches another one.
and really just cements themselves as like the, that they're the team of the year without a doubt i just can't get over how they keep doing it yeah i don't know how do they like oh my god everyone just thought game and look washed you know they they're they, they not like we're not trying you and, know oh, we're there's there. clearly you know what, dude? they're losing games and then here they go again another fuck one. the haters dude actually fuck the haters <laughs> everybody just like Babe. oh kick Duraccio. Duraccio is so bad he dies on morphling you know what if you take any cog out of a perfect machine he's right that machine's gonna break down they need the chaos of this man to thrive every single little piece for this team comes together to yep. make one of the most dominant teams in Dota 2 history. And at the end of this year, we might say they are the greatest Dota team in history in terms of dominance over a year. Mm -hmm. And they're, they're running towards being the only team to have ever win basically everything <laughs> in an entire year purge. Has that ever happened? I don't think it has Disgusting. ever happened. Probably not, but but I'm, I'm thinking of them as like, right now is like one of those teams that has like a crazy good year you know team secret had really good years og had really good years vp yeah. had really good years this is amazing like this stretch i feel like some other team could win ti in october and i'd be like yo you won ti but like you didn't win four you win everything giant else in a row yeah. in a row yeah. yeah yeah it's crazy it is it is madness and they do keep doing it <laughs> so <somewhere laughs> every single time it, and just like previous dream league they take home Three hundred thousand dollars, by the way. I know Bedboom still gets one hundred and seventy-five k, which is nice, uh, but uh, three hundred thousand dollars. Which, to be honest, I mean, if they if they can win Riot Masters, they'll be five yeah, million. What about that? Congrats to, to Gaming Gladiators for qualifying to the Riot Masters. Oh, oh yeah! Wow. yeah. Wow. yeah. Congrats, yeah. Congrats, yeah. Dude, they're rolling in it this year. Good <laughs> lord, what a year for them! Yeah, they're making bank. <laughs> they're rolling in money. They're rolling in. DPC points? They're probably, they're rolling out probably a lot more of other things as well <laughs> after this year. Good lord. You know what they're not rolling of? Three days. <laughs> yeah. I feel like yeah, that's true. Because the vacations. they play every tournament to the very last day. You know everybody that they eliminated beforehand or that fell down in the group stage or something like that? You know, they they get the days off, the weekend off before Dude. they fly to Bumper. They get tomorrow they off. They, they get tomorrow no, off. No, 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 it's Look, travel day. That's the travel Here's the yeah. thing. Yeah, it's a relaxing travel day. <laughs> <laughs> Quinn, Quinn's just catching up. He's catching up for all the time he spent getting knocked out in group stages of every single tournament for, <laughs> forever in NA. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> I guess we can ask him himself, because I believe uh -oh. we are joined <laughs> by Quinn here for a winner's interview. Let's see if the technology plays out. Hello, Quinn. Hello. Hello, Hello. I, can, yes. I can hear y'all. Can you hear me? No. Hello. You got your own song. Wait, you, have, you have to sing. <laughs> I have to sing? I'm gonna yeah. help pass yeah. on that one. Then. You have to. You won. If you wanna be my <laughs> <laughs> wrong story. What <laughs> I'm gonna let it play out. Beautiful. Quinn! <laughs> I thought you guys were trying very hard. Uh, no, we were trying so hard, man. Dude, that <laughs> series was so difficult. I think that was the best feeling series that we've. That might have even felt better than winning both majors because it was wow. so hard. Damn. What? What made this one extra hard? I think it's because of the circumstances. Like, this was not a clean season by any means for us. Like. We lost a lot of games. We lost to Bet Boom like three series in a row or something. They annihilated us like a lot of times. And to like scrape it together, like we came back losing game one in two series back to back. And then we came back 2 1 in a best of five. Like just, I think just like sticking it out and like having the grit to like win even whenever we're not at our peak or things are off, we're not sure about the meta, like scraping out the win feels amazing. I can, I can only imagine when the full distance, both the lower bracket finals. And the grand finals as well. How are you doing on energy? Are you good? Uh, yeah, I'm pretty chill. Uh, <laughs> I had a, I had one burger and like <laughs> uh, like five fries today, so I'm probably malnourished. Ooh. But um, but I feel good regardless. I, I yeah, that's uh, that's good. I mean, adrenaline will at some point wear off, and maybe you'll have a crash down. But for now, I definitely ride ride that one. How do you feel like the tournament format has helped you like find the form that you found today? Because you're saying like you played Bet Boom three times before today. Right? 
Am I right in saying that four yeah, three times? Something I think, like that? I think three times. Yeah. It was group stage one, group stage two, and, and then, then the tiebreaker. Break. And yeah. they, they clapped us every time. Um, yeah, I mean, I think the long, like, more games definitely helps us. I also think being on land helps us, and we're just not right now. So we have that as a disadvantage for us that I think, I think being on land aids us greatly. But yeah, I mean, the more games we play, I think, gives us a chance to figure things out. I think we started to get a better grasp on the meta towards this series. I mean, to be honest, Beppo was just a sick laning team and they were abusing that the entire tournament. Like almost no one can keep up with them in terms of lanes. So we just had to, like we, I don't know, like we watched some replays like between games, like figuring out like why we're getting slapped in lanes so hard. There were a couple of games I got outplayed. Like they, they're just a very, very strong laning team. So we just had to get it together. Uh, hey Quinn, uh, I don't have any questions for you because you've just been in every winner's interview. So <laughs> don't have any freaking questions What's left. Big J? <laughs> Nothing much. Uh, that's all I got. <laughs> okay, where's the, where's the clock? You're gonna ask me about the phone this time? No, I got an actual question. Um, okay. Game, because uh, I'm an analyst now, game, the five, the fifth game, you guys uh, had no stuns. Uh, you picked to dumpster them in lanes. What were the comms like when, you know, they were winning some fights and like split pushing you guys? Like, were you frustrated or were you like, okay, at some point we have the timing, we know what to do? Um, I mean, it's a little frustrating. I mean, the thing is, we know, we know going into this game, we are not going to be able to kill our heroes. You know, we pick, we picked like zero slows, let alone stuns. We don't have a way to get near a hero. Um, we have some monstrosity zoo nightmare draft. But, uh, you know, we talked about where our, our scaling is fine. Like we're chilling, even if we can't catch them, or even if, you know, we're not able to close out the map, like it's okay. We have good scaling. Just don't freak out, like get our items, play, play the game. Um, so I think our comms before the game helped uh, helped us a lot. But yeah, I mean, of course it's frustrating. Some Ember is, you know, he's running down lanes like some stupid clown rat and you're trying to catch him and you can't because, you know, you don't have even something that even resembles a stun. So, you know. Mm. Okay, second question. Can I get the camera on me? What's this fucking thing, Quinn? <laughs> it's, uh, it's like a Triceratops. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jenkins. <laughs> Uh, what up, Quinn? Uh, what did you guys talk about after losing the third game? I think after you lost game three in the series, something clicked for you guys because you changed your drafts a little bit. The Lycan looked pretty good, the Brood. Like, was it only about lanes or what else did you guys talk about? Um, lanes is a bit of it. Also, I think there's value in just doing something different in series. And we, we tried some stuff in the first three games and then we decided, okay, we could try it again and maybe alter some things or we did some stuff wrong, we could fix some stuff. But there's also value in just like, ah, just screw it, let's just do something different. Like it's, I know we played like a million games today and you sort of get to the point where it's like, if we lose, we lose, loose moves, you know? And you just pick some stuff and you, you just try to make it work. Um, so I think we just sort of, we switched things up and I think we became confident against the morphling like we just decided we're gonna stop being scared of this hero screw it like this hero's a cuck and we're gonna go yeah. we're just gonna play against it and i think winning that gave us a lot of footing because mm -hmm. then they like ban the morph out of fear and that helps us a lot i think okay and then about the game just now i was at some points pretty scared that you guys could have potentially lost the game that you just played uh if you had to play the game again is there anything you specifically would have wanted done different from either you or your team yeah, there's probably a lot of map movement stuff that could cause us to end the game sooner. I mean, to be honest, Husker against Blitzkrieg is such a garbage can matchup. It's actually so hard to do anything. But uh, there are definitely things we could do. I'd have to look and see specifically, though, because it's not okay. overly clear. It's like quite finessey. Okay, and last question. So you have any, uh, any shout out for the haters or Nightfall? I don't think you're particularly fond of him. Uh, no, I, I don't have beef with anyone on uh, Beppo anymore, to be honest. They're very good players. I mean, there's like always some pub beef or whatever, but mad respect to them for like, I don't know, they were like not even invited to Riyadh, and then they get like some last minute invite due to some team dropping out, and then they get all the way to the finals. They almost beat us, like mad kudos to them. And uh, to the haters, as always, suck my nuts. Uh, Reddit, all unfollow me. You're all cringe. <laughs> <laughs> all right, thank you, Quinn. If you could stop losing now so I can stop interviewing you, that'd be great. Thank you. Uh, yeah, I have a question about you, the cheese and the Aegis. Uh, when you guys killed Roche and then you pushed top and then you died after getting doomed, I, I noticed you paused for like two seconds before you picked them up. Do you regret giving you cheese instead of Aegis? Um, we thought about it. Originally, I was going to take it. I was like, nah, screw it. You take it. I'm not actually sure which one's correct, but I, I'm okay with the decision. I just need to not get jumped like a clown and wait in the fog, and then I think it's okay. I just can siege with Aegis, but um, I don't, I don't regret the decision. But I think it could go either way. I'm not sure which one's ideal. 
So you, you also said, uh, try some new things, uh, yet you picked Celery Undyne seven times today. <laughs> <laughs> What's up? Did he say anything about that? Poor guy. He, yeah, that was that was like the meme of the whole series. Is, uh, so, uh, man, I, I might need to go practice some Dirge and Demo Board. I don't know if I can cast the spells, you know, as he plays his 37th Dirge game of the day. I don't know how many decays he's casted. Um, <laughs> But uh, yeah, I don't know, what, what can you do? You know, sometimes that's your plight to play the same hero a billion times. So, you know, he didn't complain about it. He, he, you know, he sucked it up and played the hero even though it's not the most exciting hero. So kudos to him. Cool, thanks. All right, what's up, Big Q? Um, what's up, Big S? <laughs> <laughs> I, I have a really important question for you. If, <clears throat> if you were fighting 100 ducks, if they were coming for you and you, re and you had to fight them, would you rather use your bare hands, a sword or a gun? Uh, I imagine, I mean, it depends on the gun, but probably a sword. All right. Ooh. Explain. <laughs> uh, I mean, gun is bullets. You're out of bullets and then I'm dead. Sword, I'm dead anyway, too. But, you know, maybe I can just, like, do some, uh, uh maybe I'm juggernaut, you know, and I just perpetually spin and, the, and then the rats are, like, idiots when they run the blade. The rats? <laughs> <laughs> you just rats. They're ducks. They're Wait, ducks. What, did you mean? Ducks. What, what did you say? Ducks. They're what ducks. They have flight. Ducks. Yeah, yeah, ducks. yeah, kamikaze oh. ducks. Kamikaze Why did I hear ducks? rats? <laughs> because uh, we've had the oh. rat conversation like eight times at this Why point. Why is your mind on rats? Oh, yeah, that's, that's, okay, uh, yeah, so probably a sword. I don't know. How are ducks going to hurt me? They're just ducks. Okay, how about geese? Geese? Maybe he's still a sword? <laughs> okay. And another question. What is the low, what is like the base price that you would smell Jenkins' feet for? <laughs> uh, post shower or pre shower? Wait, can I, can I say something? I don't you wash my feet in the shower, I let gravity do its job. Just so you know. <laughs> okay, so that might be an <laughs> indefinable shit. number. I think we may have to just leave that up to those speculations. We're free. <laughs> he said that centrally. Yeah. <laughs> it sounded like he was going <laughs> to hit you up later in DMs, Jane. Oh. Um, that's all from me. Congrats. All right, Quinn. Every time. Thanks. When you guys win, uh, we, we praise you guys because it's like, okay, you know what, they won, and every time it's a different person that stands out from your team. That's how you can recognize uh, world-class teams such as uh, yourself and the rest of your squad. But, in your opinion, MVP of the tournament, please. Um, I'd say maybe Anton. I think he owned this last game really hard. And I think he also got his hero first phase like 12,000 games in a row. I think we're picking his hero in situations that are like kind of obnoxious for him. If he played 12,000 series against Bat Boom, they just like, I don't know, they just scrolled on the hero page and like, what's a strong laner? And they just pick that. Um, and he gets to play against that every game. So I, I, I'd probably say Anton. Anton being the retro, of course, for the people at home. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well deserved as well. I will say, as we we mention every single player at least once or twice during every series you play, so uh, we give credit uh, where it's due as well. Quinn, I'm gonna once again congratulate you. Uh, are you gonna do anything to pr to celebrate? I mean, I know you probably have a flight to catch tomorrow. <laughs> yeah, I think my, I'll probably sleep to celebrate. And you know, <laughs> you gotta watch the vods sometimes and fiend a little bit. I'll listen to Avery cast. <laughs> hear him, uh, hear him hype me up. You know that all, that all, that You don't have to pad the ego when you can. You know. Mm -hmm. This is the perfect time, and, and I would imagine that while traveling, that's like great pastime. Time flies when you're having fun. Exactly. Yeah. All right. Well, I wish you good luck in Bali. Congratulations. Please also communicate our congratulations to the rest of your team as well, if they're still around. And um, see you in Bali. See you in Riyadh after that. And congratulations once again. Thank you. Appreciate it. <laughs> Thank you. I mean, Gabe Gladys, I don't know how they did it again. They did it again, though. They I mean, did it again. God damn it. Four, four grand finals in a row. I do think that maybe now, at this point, Perch, they have played so many best of fives that they're starting to be the best at playing best of fives because there's not that many best of fives in Dota at the moment. I guess so. And they're in all of them. Yeah. They keep winning. <laughs> so, yeah, the best team at best of fives. Best team in the world. Definitely the best. And they always go to five games, too. Not always. Always go to five games, Shiver. Not always. Yes, always, they do. Every time. Yes, they do. Jenkins, were my questions <laughs> adequate? They were amazing. They were yeah. perfect. I actually was Yay! very... I was very much so thinking about the rats question that you asked. It was... Did you guys match on purpose today? Is that why you're in love? <laughs> I love you, Jenkins. I love you, too. 
Great, now that we've had that so wholesome cute. moment, we can take a look at another wholesome moment because with Dream League Season 20, we have all the rankings done. We know exactly where everybody went. We can first look at the brackets because those have been fully played out. And just in case anybody was curious of our top four, we got ourselves uh, Game Gladiators Champions, yes. But I think we should, again, highlight Bet Boom's journey because, I mean, as Quinn said, it's incredible. They're like, hey... You're, there's a slot in Dream League Season 20 opened up. You can play. You can start tomorrow.